Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. made it out to uh, Bradwell on Sea to the chapel here at St Peter's to capture a sunrise shoot and um, yeah it's absolutely fantastic morning this morning um, got up at 4am made the drive over here got to the car park about just gone five and uh, done the short walk down here to the uh, foreshore uh, to take off as a sunrise image um, absolutely fantastic sun's obviously up as you can see now so I've taken several images already but uh, just waiting for that light to get a little bit better so obviously you can see me when I'm doing obviously my pieces to camera but um, some, this morning um, absolutely fantastic still lovely sort of air or no breeze at all sorry um, an absolutely lovely stunning morning um, it's the beginning of autumn so uh, officially but uh, yeah, it's um, a fantastic uh, location to come out to visit. And luckily enough, with the sun, uh, clear skies on the horizon made for a fantastic shoot so far. So hopefully capture a couple more images. Let's come along for the journey. So I've got this fantastic composition set up here with uh, the path that leads down to the shoreline here at Bradwell on Sea uh, creating a lovely leading line because there's pools of water throughout the image and uh, just as the rising sun's coming up now uh, snapping off loads of images just so I've obviously got the sun on different stages as it's rising above the horizon um, absolutely fantastic lovely still morning today um, couldn't ask for anything better really no cloud on the horizon which is absolutely fantastic just as the sun there is creating a lovely lovely glow so i've already got a base image for the foreground um, in the bag which is about half a second at f11 iso 100 and 18 mil set on the lens and then i'm changing over to do a um, exposure for the sky and that's about sort of uh, 50th or 60th of a second uh, to gain f11 and looking to blend them both together in post-processing um, yeah absolutely fantastic uh, morning this morning and uh, snapping away like happy which is uh, always a good thing when you're doing landscape photography So 
So for the next image, I've pretty much got the same composition, however, just turned the camera into a portrait orientation. Um, again, got the pools of the water leading you through the image right up to where the rising sun is. Um, absolutely fantastic image. So I've got the camera again set up on F11, ISO 100, 18mm set up, and about uh, one hundredth of a second, just so I can obviously get the balance of the image for, for the obviously rising sun and the highlights. I did take a second image, about uh, one sixth of a second for the foreground, but uh, again, lo obviously looking to blend those two together in post-processing. But uh, yeah, fantastic. Obviously got the cable release in today just so I can obviously snap away as often as I can because obviously as the sun rises you're getting different colours, different hitting different pools of the water of the path as it's leading through the image. So yeah, really working out to be a really good interesting shoot this morning and well worth getting up at 4am uh, to obviously make the effort to come all the way out here. So yeah, really pleased that I made the effort. So for the next image here, I've literally sort of just done a 180 degree turn and slightly adjusted my composition to take one of the images of the chapel here at St. Peter's on the wall at uh, Bradwell on Sea. Um, I've never, I've always struggled with images from this location of the actual chapel. As I mentioned when I did my sunrise shoot, uh, I believe back in February now. Um, yeah, it's always been a tricky one. However, today I think I might have slightly changed that opinion and actually got a really interesting composition as we've got the fantastic light that's coming up obviously from the sunrise this morning creating lovely interesting detail on one side of the chapel here however this side that's closest to me is actually in shadow so again that sort of uh, contrast of color is making for an interesting image bringing the tripod lower as well and using some of the foreground of these grasses here that are picking up the lovely sort of golden light that you get at sunrise, making for an interesting image. So I've got the camera set up on 18mm, F11, ISO 100, and about 1 15th of a second as the base image. And um, I might look at playing around with that in post-process, and I'm not too sure at the moment, but um, as an image working out really quite well. However, the slight downfall is you've got some of the uh, turbines for the wind farm that's here. But um, yeah, sometimes that's just the way it is really. You can't always eliminate everything in the background. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a contrast as well, I feel, because the chapel itself is uh, hundreds of years old. And then you've got obviously the new modern technology of the uh, modern wind turbines as well. So kind of that juxtaposition of both of them is uh, quite interesting, I feel. But uh, feel free to leave a comment below to see what you think. That's always the way with landscape photography. You turn the corner and you come across a fantastic scene. Um, lovely mist that's forming in this field here, just behind the sea wall. 
rushing around quite quickly because it is disappearing um, very, very quickly. But I've got two compositions already set up, uh, both at uh, F5.6 ISO 100 and about uh, one sixtieth of a second on each image. Both of just the tree line on the bank of the seawall and then one of the lone trees in the with a leading gully of a ditch right up to where the tree is and uh, obviously taking that image as well. I'm going to quickly change over to the my long lens to see if I can pick out some more detail with that extra reach. So hopefully, yeah, rushing around pretty quick to make sure I make the most of these conditions because they don't happen often and they don't last around that often as well. So hopefully, yeah, capturing one or two more images quickly. mist as quick as it appears it disappears um, yeah quickly changed over to the long lens and made the most of it I've picked out a couple of images um, really interesting critical thing though when you're doing obviously uh, you or using the long lens is to make sure you've got your cable releasing because any vibration is uh, really going to be detected by it even though I was keeping the two second timer on the camera and obviously pressing the shutter button uh, it was still obviously vibrating because you're right out at 300 mil on on the lens but uh, got the one of the first compositions I've got was with the ditch leading up to the lone tree um, or bush and that's uh, really interesting I've be able to get the detail of the mist there as well and add that sort of bit of separation which is really interesting I've then obviously just scanned around using the long lens on the 300 mil setting um, and picked out another really interesting image. So I changed over to landscape orientation and as the um, fields here that have been obviously uh, cut down for the, for the wheat etc, you've still got the lines uh, obviously of the machinery and the tractors that are creating and waving through actually the image. With the mist though still forming right on the sea wall in the far distance as well and again making for a quite an interesting image. Now as the sun's obviously risen up above obviously the bank here for the sea wall creating that lovely golden light in the uh, field itself and again having that mist in the background adding that little bit more separation. I'll probably have to cut out um, or crop out quite a bit of the sky because that's really not interesting at all. There, there, there's no detail there, nothing to really add. It's about the foreground and about the mist in the midground to background as well. So the images that I've had set up is um, on f5.6 ISO 100 and about 100th of a second um, as the base image. So yeah, not expecting to have the mist, um, but that's really interesting that it's been able to form this morning because of the uh, still calm conditions that we've got this morning working out to be really interesting. And hopefully, again, picking out some of those details in post-processing and uh, yeah, working out to be really interesting images. Nothing can beat a sunrise shoot with an absolutely fantastic sunrise and a really nice cup of coffee to drink afterwards. So yeah, been a really interesting shoot today, really well worth the effort to actually come out and uh, capture the sunrise this morning. Um, the images that I captured of the actual sunrise itself, um, fantastic, I really like the detail in the pools that have created leading up to the uh, horizon line and then obviously the sun as it was rising as well, really quite interesting. Um, jury's still out, I think, on the images that I've captured about uh, over at the chapel itself. Um, yeah, I think the images of the chapel itself is going to really elude me and um, I know that I'm not the only photographer around this area that's uh, struggled with compositions at the actual chapel itself. But uh, adding the bonus onto it, or the cherry on the cake as such, is the mist that I was able to capture as well in the field. 
um, yeah really interesting really love the detail uh, that I was able to pick out and rushing around like a headless chicken changing over to the long lens um, but uh, luckily enough I had it in the bag which is um, really interesting because if I didn't pack it then I wouldn't have been able to have captured those images um, making sure that I obviously had the cable release as well with me because you need that uh, device when you're actually shooting at long lens or using the telephoto lens because uh, any vibration is just going to make the image completely um, yeah rubbish is a few words other other words that I'll probably use to describe some of them uh, yeah I don't think I would be able to get away with uh, classing them as ICM Im images but uh, hey ho anyway but uh, yeah really interesting really really enjoyed that um, maybe if I would have uh, approached that corner and turned the corner that little bit earlier I would have been able to have a little bit more time with the mist but um, yeah as soon as that sun came up burnt it away completely um, but uh, yeah really interesting nevertheless Hopefully you've enjoyed it as well, coming along for the journey. And um, yeah, thanks a lot for everyone that's watched so far. Please make sure that uh, you leave us a comment below. Consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed as well. If you have subscribed, what I would appreciate you could do, if you wish, is to share the video as well. If you feel like doing that, that'd be much appreciated. But thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, take care.